Hey boys and girls, guys and gals. Scott Turnage, G3 Sportsman, here today with our old friend Jeff Williams of Team Catfish. And uh, we have got, this is actually the first time that we've got this boat on the water where we're shooting video and it's the must anticipated G3 Sportsman 2400. We are on Lake Parsons in Kansas and we're going to go after some channel cats and have a little fun. It's a beautiful day. Nobody on the, on the water. This summertime channel cat fishing with uh, the dip bait, manufactured bait, super easy. We come out here to show you how to catch channel cats all over the country in the summertime. We're gonna do it today. And what's gonna be fun, we're gonna show you all about this new boat and the room that it has and the amenities and what all is gonna be fun. So come on, Lake Parsons, Kansas, channel cat, team catfish, G3 Sportsman, today. Come on, go with us. It'll be fun. Let's get a little breeze blowing, what do you say? Man, this thing is a beast, isn't it? Oh my goodness, this thing's big. All right, we're, we're out here, got gold. What are we looking for, Jeff? What's our first move? Well, this is an old farmland, uh, muddy reservoir, old, old lake. But there's still a creek channel that snakes its way through here. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep working back and forth looking at the sonar here in this creek channel looking for some fish and we're going to try to anchor right on the edge. This lake's really shallow so we're going to power pole down okay. and we're going to get to where we can cast in this creek channel. Yep, which we're coming up to. Yeah, we just went from about six foot down into about 12, 15 foot. We're going to get to where we can cast some in the creek channel and some up on the flat and see where the fish tell us they're at today. Okay. Hey everybody, we are using a dip bait called Secret 7. And Scott's doing one of the most important things you can do right there is stir it up. The more you stir it, the softer it gets, the stickier it gets. And we're gonna stick these little dip tubes down in here with these J hooks. And what's gonna happen is, is that dip bait's gonna get down in these holes. It's gonna get all over this tube. And that's gonna break off and create a chum line in the water and these channel cats will move in toward that and uh, hopefully find what bait's left in these dip tubes and see if we can get a bite. Smell that right there now, boys. <laughs> I mean, that's... That's real catfish bait. That's real catfish bait right there. All right, so we're gonna drop her in there. Take and smear it all around good. This isn't the Mona Lisa. Everybody tries to do this. That's all you need right there. Now when I'm first putting a dip tube in there, I like to smash it around a couple times and uh, we're going to cast that out. Got him. Got him. Okay. Number one, boy, that didn't take long. That didn't take long Ooh, at either. Even some junk or something out there. All right. Now, remember, um, we're catching channel cats today. I love summertime channel cat fishing. But cheese bait, secret seven. This is fun stuff. I didn't have to catch any shad or nothing. Today. No. <laughs> that pole's been out probably two minutes. Come here, you. Oh, come back here. You're trying to get it back in my power pole. Oh, yeah. If you don't like this, what do you say, Scott? Hard person to please. Hard person to please. Nice channel cat right off the bat. That is. That is. Let me get my fish grips on there. Look at there. <laughs> yep, right in the face. Right in the face. Got me good. I'll get you some pliers here. Yeah. Guys, I tell you what, there are channel catfish all over the United States. And uh, the Secret 7 works everywhere. We sell it from coast to coast and north to south. And, and uh, it's just a wonderful product to go out and fish with. You can keep it in your garage. You don't have to refrigerate it. It's just a great product. See you, buddy. Nothing wrong with him. 
Love the room. Already, already I can tell how much more room this 2400 is versus the, the 21 the, on the 2100. It's just, oh my gosh, it's just massive at how big this thing is. It's like we feel like we ought to be out in the Gulf of Mexico or somewhere in this thing. On this one. Which one? That one just cast up. Here we go. Got Fish on. Fish on. What we did, we at the first spot, after about 10 minutes, we moved over here closer to the other end of the lake, down here in this corner. And uh, once again, we just got them out and uh, boom. He's not a great big fella, but uh, let Jeffy get a hold of him right there. Not a great big fella, but nonetheless, on a hot summer day, he's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, I'm telling you, there's people everywhere. Love to have this dude today. What we're doing is just fan casting around. He and uh, we've got plenty of room in here to where we ain't bumping into one another or we'll let that fish go. Get out of there, buddy. <laughs> and uh, oh, they're frisky. It's just a fun thing to do, guys, on summer. It doesn't have to be great big fish all the time. You know, this is an excellent fish that you can get your kids interested in because there's usually some action. And you don't have to just sit in one place all day. You can just move around. And on a hot day like today or something, you, when you move around, kind of cools you off a little bit, energizes you. And uh, I bet you, here in just a bit, I bet we get another fish on. Already? And? He coming at you? Yeah, he's just coming at me. Risky. Risky. Come here, guy. We just got a little bit of breeze blowing up against that green stuff over there. <laughs> Look how fat that one is. That's the fattest one of the day. But not like a blue cat. Well, old blue cat, boy, he'll just take her down. These old channel cats, they kind of waller around in their mouth. And, and you don't know what they're, what they're going to do. They just ain't, they don't commit. They don't commit like a blue cat. But I'm going to tell you who does commit. And uh, that's been G3. Our commitment to the catfishing industry is something that we're really proud of and and what we're really proud of is this new boat the sportsman 2400 and uh, we've got this now 24 feet what we've done different than the 2100 is we've added two feet of floor space here this is what you guys wanted man you wanted the room in here and buddy we've got it i mean you can see where i'm sitting look how hard it is with my wingspan just to touch jeff so we've got 95 inches from tip to tip over here. I can lay down across this floor. And even here, of course, with the seats on here, if I can find my handle, of course, you can go up and down and look at the, look at the room that we have here from just the back console. We added an extra foot to the front and a 25 gallon aerated live well up front. So this is really, really our new flagship boat at g3 especially for you catfish guys and uh, we're tickled that we've got it out this is actually the only one that has been built so far we've got other production boats coming up and uh, this one is in black we could also get in the burgundy and the two shades of mossy oak camo this is what you're looking at right here is the new sportsman g3 sportsman 2400 24 feet of romping stomping catfishing boat right here he got it he got it i think he's got it you got it. He's getting a little bigger. Oh, he sounds like he's getting bigger. Well, he ain't just real big, but nice. I can do the hackberry flip on him. Nice channel cat. Not bad. That's another thing, boy. You never know, man. They'll be just running right at you. Well, like I said, boys, they're not just real big, but man, I'm telling you what, they're so much fun because the action is just constant. 
All right, little buddy. There you go. That's another little deal right there, man. These fish grips, these tin catfish fish grips, everybody in America's got them, but man, it makes it so much easier to manage your fish. And uh, I don't know what we what we ever done without them. I guess we just tore our thumbs up. But don't forget, it's the yellow fish grip. It that's says it. Team cat. That says Team Catfish. It on says it. Team Catfish. Well, what do you think? Thumbs up. Thumbs, thumbs down. Up. Hey, uh, G3's done another uh, fantastic job here on the boat that catfish anglers, multi-species anglers, would love to use. So um, I know that there's a lot of cat fishermen that are going to really appreciate the, the layout of this boat, and uh, it's really nice. We've, we, we're going to try it out tomorrow, too. We've had a lot of fun. Like I said, we caught a few fish. We had, we had a big time over here at Parsons Lake. Hey, let me give you guys a little tip from Team Catfish about dip bait. I'd like to have this little tip for my website because we have people all the time are fishing with Secret 7 and sometimes they have a hard time getting their bait to stick to their, to their dip tubes. And you see how wet this dip tube is? Sometimes, especially when it's hot like this, you'll just take that Team Catfish towel and you'll dry that tube off that quick, knock that water off. It does two things. It allows your dip bait to stick better to your dip worm and it keeps you from putting water back in your dip bait, making your dip bait wet. Now, I don't do that all the time, but if you got some bait that's a little bit wet, and there you go, just like that. He's ready to go fishing. So for all of us at the G3 Sportsman, thanks for tuning in for Team Catfish. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll be out there somewhere next week, right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Go check out Scott's YouTube channel and watch more catfishing videos. Hey, we appreciate you guys taking the time out of your schedule to watch this stuff. Come see us at the Team Catfish Club on Facebook. Join that group. There's 12,000 folks there that are interested in catfishing just like you.